Hey, welcome to the House of Sugar Creek. I'm Taylor Bradford and I am the creator behind this YouTube channel and we've got a lot going on in the land of Sugar Creek. And right now I am prepping for an editorial. I'm actually not gonna be present, so I have somebody coming in to pick up the items that they're gonna be using in their editorial. I've got horse stall mats out in my truck because I'm gonna make ready or work on making ready our exercise area, which I'm gonna show you. And I'm gonna also show you what we just added to the facility. It's actually more of my husband's toy, but it's gonna help us here and also in the future with the fun things that are being planned for the three-year goal. So not quite ready to come out and announce what the three-year goal is, but let's just say I already bought the domains. I've already started working on the logo and I'm really pumped. I'm really pumped. So let's get to getting all of this wrapped up. I'm gonna show you around what's been going on, what's been happening and what we've added and all that jazz. So let's go. Okay, so I have goblets that are going out, plus some plates, which I think they're all packed up right now, and I'm still way behind, but that's okay, that's life at Sugar Creek. So I'm gonna show you the goblets, and we've got these beautiful black goblets going out. I wish I could find more of these. I would absolutely love to find more, but black, vintage black goblets are really, really hard to come by. So these beauties are going out and black glass is actually super, super dark violet. So if you actually held it up to the light, it is super, super dark violet, but you can't tell that from here. This looks black, right? So black goblets are going out. We have light pink or just pink going out as well. So let me show you those guys. We have a, an assortment of pink. Pink is still growing in the collection. Finding this kind or this style of goblet is kind of challenging. I usually find the pink depression glass fairly easily, but actually finding pink, vintage pink can be a little challenging. And I don't know if it's because it's popular right now or that it just wasn't a predominant color when they were making this glass, but we have a variety of pinks. Let me show you another pink one. So here's another example of one of our pink. So totally different style, still in that beautiful shade of pink. So again, I would like to find more of these so I can grow the pink collection. The amber collection is nearly at capacity, which I am super pumped at. My goal for goblets is 200 and we are really close on amber. Still missing probably about 15 and then having some in reserve because we understand accidents happen. I haven't actually counted my green glass lately, but I'm gonna turn the camera around and you're gonna see I've got green glass out on display right now. Now I don't have a full table set because the basically the plates went out a couple weeks ago and I haven't caught up to that but at least it's sorta of set, so let's take a peek. So here are some of the green glass goblets that we have. Now this is an actual tea goblet, and we have a variety of green goblets in this olive color. It's just so pretty. Like all of the vintage glassware is just really, really pretty. I have more of it over here. You can still see I still have to wash a bunch of things. <laughs> which is terrible, but I have a good reason. So here are some diamond glass in that olive green color. Oh my gosh, it's so stunning. So true story, brand new dishwasher. You guys have seen that in the water closet, which is back behind that door, but it's already broken. Isn't that fun? So we're waiting on new lines. Let me show you. So we're waiting on new 
liquid lines because they are not staying primed. Right now they are primed, but they have problems. So it makes getting all of the dishes actually washed really challenging because I end up having to wash again and again and again, which sucks. So you can see I've got I've a prep station here. These guys are already clean, but the containers aren't full yet. These milk crates aren't full yet. There's a random one that's dirty dishes. And y'all, I don't like having dirty dishes. I don't like having this many <laughs> dirty dishes. But what do you do when something breaks? Our AC is finally fixed, but this is a temporary solution. I don't understand. It's been over a week. They were supposed to come back and actually rerun that line properly and they have it. So it's kind of a hazard. It's super frustrating, but again, how do you make humans work? I don't know. But this sofa right here is our Black Beauty. She didn't have a proper photo, so I got her out and over into the Petite Studio to get a photo of her. And now I just have to clean the area over here, clean the floors before I put her back in. And uh, you can see some of my mirrors are chilling over here too. But I do have to show you the newest piece to our collection. This is a custom piece. And this is Giselle, the diamond backdrop. And what a stunner she is. She is almost nine feet tall, about seven feet wide. And she's a dream. And my welder is a pro, <laughs> let me tell you. Look how stunning that is. So that's the latest to the backdrop collection. So let's head back and see what else is going in for this editorial, what they're coming to pick up today. So we've got these wire chargers are part of what they are using. So I've got a grab six of these guys. I wish I could find more, but unfortunately the vendor who had them originally went out of business. So I was only able, I think, to get up to 26, which makes me really sad, but Oh, they are so fun and they're really well made. So six of these guys are going out and then over here, it's still a mess. Still, a mess. it's always a work in progress. I will say though that I am hiring, which is an amazing thing for me. So like I said, hiring, major thing for me. And I just wrote the blog post over this past weekend and actually made it live over on the Sugar Creek website. I seriously need the help. And we've got so much going on. I have decided to get my public adjuster license in Texas for insurance. And because I lost my landman job, I kind of need a little bit more consistent income. Sugar Creek is still growing, but there are a lot of things that I also could be doing to help Sugar Creek. Plus the secret project that I'm working on that is a three-year goal. It'd be amazing if we can do it in two, but we're giving ourselves three. These guys are also going out today, so I need nine of them. And it looks like a few of them still have a little bit of wax on them, which is not gonna be hard to get out, but I'm gonna grab nine of these. Get them unwrapped to make sure they're in good condition. Okay, so now I have them and I need to clean some of them up. So we will go find a place to do that.
So now the items are packed and ready to be picked up for that editorial. And so do you remember last week when I told you about the coffee pot, the Pyrex coffee pot that the gentleman broke during the sale? Let's see what I ended up doing with it. Here is the reveal. So I just placed some dried flowers in there so that you could get an idea, but what I did was I took the carafe and chipped out the glass that was broken and got it down into and inside of this gold rim. And then I siliconed the heck out of the jagged pieces so that nobody would cut themselves. And I'm gonna sell it as a face because it's, it's sort of functional for coffee still but because there's no way to like keep the heat trapped in there it it's really just gonna be for looks which still makes me sad because it is vintage pyrex but it can have a new life as a flower pot or a vase or a vessel whatever you want to call it so i just grabbed a previous bouquet from a an editorial that we did without trimming it up or whatever so you get the idea of basically saving something super cool and repurposing it into something new okay so we're packed we're ready to go for this editorial so now i'm going to show you the next task which happens to be the little workout area that i am crafting and I just went to Tractor Supply to get these horse stall mats, which are perfect to use as the flooring for this workout area. The doors are not completely put together just yet, so they are still leaning up against the walls. I will eventually take care of that, but the goal is to bring in these horse stall mats so that we have a cushioned workout area to work within. I moved the rower out of the way. I moved the weight bench out of the way. I moved some of the weights, some of the other weights over here. We still have some other items that I want to add to this workout area. One specifically is a functional trainer, uh, but I'm not sure when that will actually get purchased. So for now, next thing to do is to bring in those horse stall mats, which are in the back of my truck. I think they're kind of heavy, so this might be interesting. Okay, so I just moved my truck closer to the door, and here are the horse stall mats. You can get these at Tractor Supply for uh, $48. They need to be clean because they've been outside, but yeah, this is our rubber mat flooring that we're going to use in a little workout area. Flooring is in, it's dirty, I need to clean it, but it's gonna work. I ended up only using four of the mats, so they are four by six. I kinda wish they were four by eight, but that's okay. They're four by six, and I don't need to block this area, so this is what we're gonna work with, and I think it turned out really great. So, it's, cheaper than getting flooring at like academy or online etc and this stuff is super heavy duty <laughs> it was so challenging getting into the warehouse it's in it's down it needs to be cleaned but now onwards we go because now i want to show you the latest addition to sure creek headquarters What you got there, babe?
And what's it for? Uh, I don't know. Oh, Well, I don't think those ramps were all that, all that invented. Well, that's what I asked about the kids. Don't think you could drive it off there like you did the other <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to do something. So, I'm a hot, sweaty mess now. Oh my gosh, I need to cool off. I also need to check off some things off of my to-do list for today and get to work on the rest of this because it's 19 items long and I've done three of them. So I've got a lot of work to do today. That's how it goes in my world. And if you missed last week's video, I'm going to queue it up right over here for you to hit play. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'm going to link you right here, that little circle that's going to pop up and I hope you will subscribe because I put out a video every week. I try on Mondays. So I hope that you'll come back and keep watching The House of Sugar Creek.